Are you new to editing and you're trying to get down the basic plus a little more and you've got a copy of Adobe Premiere Rush and you're not really ready to jump into the big world of Adobe Premiere Pro? Then I have got five simple tips to help you in your editing in Adobe Premiere Rush. I'm Oliver Wea and welcome to the Wea Studios Editing Bay. Let's dive right in to Adobe Premiere Rush. You've already added your clips to a project and you look at it and you say, I can't see my audio. Well, there's two ways to find it. Let's take a look. Way number one is you need to highlight a clip and then you go down to the lower left-hand side and you will literally see a button that says expand audio. When you click on it, the audio expands. If you click on it a second time, the audio collapses. But now, let's say you don't want to drive all the way to that icon. You can simply highlight a video clip, right click it, and then go expand audio. Same thing, you can highlight the clip, right click it, and collapse the audio. Next, you brought in a clip that you don't want and you want to throw it out. They give you three different ways to throw out one clip. Make sure you, one, highlight the clip. Two, you can navigate all the way down to the trash can and click on it. That takes a lot of driving. Or you can highlight the clip, right click, and then go to delete one clip. I like that one the best. Or you can simply look on the keyboard and find the keyboard that says delete and delete the clip. Tip number three, you've put in music, but the music is overpowering the person talking and you want to duck the music, which means lower the music so you can hear more of who's talking. Back to our screen, let's navigate over to the audio button. But before we go there, highlight the music, then navigate to the audio button. And when you click on the audio button, you'll notice a auto duck. Press auto duck. Because you've already selected the music, you will then notice down here that the music has become grayed out and it lowers when the person above is talking and then raises when there is no sound. This way you can hear the music and the person talking at the same time. If your music is too soft and you want to raise your music up, you simply go over to Reduce By and you click and you drag it down a little bit. And when you play it back, you'll know if you've hit the levels just right. Tip number four. If you're working on a laptop, this is a very useful thing to know in Adobe Premiere Rush. It's how to change the size of your monitor. On the right hand side, you get two lines and when you hover over them, it says adjust monitor size. Click on it raise it to the top and the monitor gets smaller but your timeline gets bigger or click on it and drag it below and the monitor gets bigger and your timeline gets smaller so depending on what you're editing this is a very helpful tool to have especially if you are working on a laptop computer tip number five creating your own presets what are presets they are basically filters that you can put onto your video clips highlight a video clip go over to the color icon on the right hand side give it a click of course and you'll notice that there is a bunch of presets click on a preset then go and click on edit change the variables of the preset a little bit whatever you like raise the temperature a little bit darken the shadows make the colors more vibrant if you scroll down past advanced, you can do a little faded film or sharpen it just a little bit. Maybe you add uh, a vignette to it. Then when you are done, go up to what we call the three action dots under more options. Click on those and then click create preset. You can title this whatever you want. I'm just gonna title it WIA number one. Hit the save button. Go back to presets, scroll all the way to the very bottom, and there you will see the preset you just created, WIA number one. How do you apply it? Highlight a different video clip, and then click on your preset. And then highlight a different video clip, and then click on your preset. Tip number six, that's right, it's a bonus tip, the sound effects. Adobe Premiere Rush has done a great job in the past couple of months of updating this product and putting in a great library of sound effects. To find them, simply go to the blue Add Media button in the upper left-hand corner and click on 
audio, from inside audio, you now have three great choices. You have soundtracks, sound effects, and loops. When you're in the sound effects, you will notice right away that it seems almost endless. They go on forever and they're really useful in adding a little bit of spice to your project. So there you go. Five, wait a minute, no, six simple tips to help you when you are using Adobe Premiere Rush. I really enjoy this product and I hope that these six simple tips help you create your better videos before you jump in to the big world of Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey, if you like what you learned today and you enjoyed what you learned, remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the description below. I am Oliver Wea, and welcome to the Wea Studios Editing Bay. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe.